3D model of the internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now, this model has revealed a previously unknown chamber with five horizontal levels and a sloping roof, which in of itself is an architectural design unlike any previously documented in the Giza Pyramid. But the most shocking discovery lies beneath the surface, below ground level, Radar tomography has identified vertical cylindrical structures extending for hundreds of meters beneath the pyramid. There are eight of these cylindrical wells arranged in two parallel rows, descending to an astonishing depth of 648 meters. Even more intriguing, at the base of these structures are two massive cubic formations measuring approximately 80 meters in diameter. The tomographic data suggests that these are vertical wells with intricate spiral pathways. Now this design not only implies a functional purpose, but also a level of sophisticated engineering that completely blows the dynastic Egyptian model out of the water. I mean, the pyramid itself was already a massive red flag in the ancient Egyptian historical narrative. But now, with this discovery, I think it's become impossible to say that the Egyptian civilizations that we understand, that we've been taught about, were responsible for building these structures. And it doesn't even end there. According to a recent press release, this the Khafre Pyramid is the tip of a very large iceberg. So there was a big press release that came out of Italy made by Corrado Malanga, Armando May and Filippo Biondi. So this is a model of what they found and you can see a structure within the Khafre Pyramid and then the amazing thing is you can see these structures that go down deep into the earth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the information that's been released so far. Apparently there's going to be a lot more released fairly soon, but we'll just look at what we know so far. And I got this from Trevor Grassi's uh, Facebook page. So thank you, Trevor. I much appreciated for keeping everybody up to date. So here's what we know so far, and we're getting this information from the abstract that was released on the 16th of March. Quote, this abstract summarizes the key points of our research, which aimed to clarify the possible hidden structures inside the second pyramid of the Giza Plateau, known as the Khafre Pyramid. This research was conducted using non-invasive techniques based on publicly available synthetic aperture radar, i.e. SAR, data, provided as open source by Capella Space and Umbra. And there's some websites associated with that. It then goes on to describe the first step that was taken before this, which was the project to scan the Khufu pyramid and a few of the results of, of that. In fact, I did an episode on this when the information came out and uh, I've since updated it. So you'll see on my channel, there's a fairly recent version of that as well. So let's just keep looking at what the new stuff is. The tomographical images obtained from the satellite data processing immediately highlighted the presence of five structures located at the center of the pyramid above Belzoni's chamber, which contained a presumed sarcophagus, mistakenly believed to be the pharaoh's tomb. The abstract paper then goes on to say that these structures share the same shape as the so-called Z structure found inside the pyramid of Khufu, above the ceiling of the so-called pharaoh's or king's chamber. The five Zs in the Khafre pyramid appear to be connected by geometric pathways, and alongside these structures, additional secondary structures are visible from various satellite angles, as shown in some of the tomographical images. The analysis of this data obtained 
using entirely non-invasive techniques are briefly summarised. These findings allowed us to construct a 3D model of the entire complex. The examination of dozens of tomographical images obtained from different angles using Capella Space and Umbra radars enabled a 3D reconstruction of most of the objects inside the Pyramid of Carfre. Below, we present some images from our 3D analysis. The analysis of the structures above Belzoni's chamber are intensely coloured spots which can be observed appearing in all tomographic images taken from different angles corresponding to the internal artificial structures. On the next page, it says that improvements of the signal-to-noise ratio revealing the internal structure of the five sets, consisting of five horizontal levels and a sloping roof. So this is the raw pictures of the data that they used to create their model. And this is the model. So it reads the tomography with another cross-sectional line showing the presence of vertical structures. And if you think that was pretty mind-blowing, it then goes on to say... As observed in the 3 model below the ground level, so ground zero of the main structure, vertically aligned cylindrical structures extend for hundreds of metres beneath the Giza Plateau. Notably, eight of these structures arranged in two parallel rows from north to south descend to a depth of 648 metres, merging into two large cubic structures measuring approximately 80 metres per side. These features are illustrated in the topographical images and models presented. The paper then adds to that with some even more interesting detail, which is that the eight cylindrical structures that have been identified in the tomographical image appear as vertical wells, which are hollow inside, and surrounded by descending spiral pathways. It then goes on to describe the third step, which is a lot of the analysis they've done based on all this data that they've collected. So they say the next phase involved analysing the tomographic data to determine the full extent of the underground structures beneath the Giza Plateau. The tomographic images clearly reveal that the structures exist beneath the plateau, extending below the pyramids of Kafre, Khufu and Benkare for approximately this two kilometres below ground. So mind-blowing as all that is, there's still more to come and this is just a little bit of the information that they have shared with us so far. So we can look forward to a lot more to come out fairly soon and uh, I will keep you posted in the meantime. This is a, a look at some of the models and some of the data.